Hello guys and happy Saturday. Hope you've been having a good weekend. If you saw this house in my video yesterday, then you know that this entire month we are talking about roofing in The Sims 4. Yesterday we went over the roofing basics, how to use the roofing tool, textures, trims, and these first group of roofs here. Today we are talking specifically about the diagonal roofing, how to use it, and how to connect a diagonal room to the rest of your build. If you missed yesterday's video, no worries. Here's a quick recap. This moves the roof. These rotate the roof, this copies, this adjusts the pitch. You can adjust the size using these arrows on any side, and you can adjust the eaves here. I go into more detail in my video yesterday, so you may want to check that out if you are still beginning with roofing, but today we are focusing just on the diagonals. This is the diagonal gabled roof. Gabled roof is pretty much your basic roof shape. It's a triangle. This is what you put on pretty much any house you're going to draw or build. Very versatile. It does look like it places at a different pitch than the gabled roof um, that aligns with the grid. However, this is simply because the roof has to stretch since the diagonal tile sides are technically longer than the straight tile sides. Pythagorean theorem and all that jazz. For other options on diagonal roofing, we still have our classic half gable, which is very, very useful. We also have the half-hipped roof, which has the same rules as the straight half-hipped roof, which are you can adjust these and you can adjust these. And now it actually looks like a normal roof. Our final diagonal roof type is, of course, the fully hipped roof. Now, if you're building a house completely on the diagonal, you probably aren't going to have too many roofing issues. You can, of course, adjust the pitches, adjust the eaves, maybe even give some stuff a little bit of a curve if you're feeling unique. But when really the challenge comes along is when you're trying to connect a small diagonal room to any room that more aligns with the grid. If you have your hip roof here, right, you can extend it and as you can see that's, that's doing literally nothing. The easiest way to roof this would probably be to grab a couple more hip roofs and you'll see that that really blends fine. If I were going to finish off this roof in this style, I would make sure that I pulled out all of the eaves a tad and you're gonna have to push this one back a touch to make sure it doesn't clip out. But then you see this little issue here where it's still kind of clipping. You replace this with the half hip roof, rotating it to make it look like a hip roof. And then when you pull it in, you can see it doesn't extend as far and you don't get that weird little clip there and it still lines up just fine. But now what if this doesn't have an angle here? What if it just matches straight up? Obviously this isn't going to work anymore. Look at how much is overlapping. Let's go ahead and keep this roof piece for now and just push it back. Here we are going to grab our gabled roof to place here, as well as right here, and you can see that this is a mess. So what we're going to do is try to line up the, basically the shorter side of the roof here. So if we pull this back, you can see it doesn't quite line up, but if we pull this forward and pull this eave back, as you can see, it looks fine from the front, but if we turn around to the side, there's still a huge gap. We are actually going to fill in this gap with the hipped roof. So put it in place, bring it down to size, oops, which is going to be about here because you can see that's where it lines up on all sides. Go ahead and pull the eaves down to line up, and that should pretty much give you a nice smooth meet up here. A final, slightly less optimal way to get the diagonal room and the more straight grid aligning rooms to connect is to add a second story. As you can see the roof looks fine on the back end, doesn't look great right here, so we could adjust that slightly by adding a half gable here, rotate it to fit, push it back, drop this eave down by holding shift, push this in, again adjust this one in by pressing shift and there you go. That would blend in just fine. It would eliminate some of the need for the multi-piece roofing. You're going to get really used to using half hip roofs to cover, a, or sorry, half gable roofs to cover a lot of awkward gaps here and there. And it's going to, in some cases, depending on your angles, just make this part of the roof a lot easier to figure out uh, because you just got rid of it, which seems pretty easy to me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this super quick crash course on diagonal roofing. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all the rest of the notifications of other build tutorials coming at you this month. They're all going to be focused on roofing, but we are covering everything from troubleshooting to specific roofing styles, so there will be something for everyone. 
Next time I will see you will be Monday. We are going to be talking about roof clipping. Don't forget to check out the top card playlist for all the other short tutorials I've done on this channel more recently, or check out the bottom playlist, which is all of the roofing tutorials I have on my channel so far. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys on Monday.